friends this is leela welcome to my channel leela webdev in this video we will see how we can write the validations for the schema yes what you are trying to listen is correct so for in mongodb for the collection collection is nothing but a schema we can write the validation for this one also. for example let's say that we know that mongodb is flexible right so the mongodb we know that it is a flexible thing but to try to see here let's say that we are having a book collection okay so the book collection means what are the items you will be having so let's try to write the validation for this one let's say that you will be having a book one okay and you can have a price which is of something like 12.99 or something okay and the next one is a description you can have a description for this one so sample or something and the another one is the others let's say that others it could be a something like array uh, we can write something like uh, Leela, John. Okay. so we can write it like this and also we can have a status so i can say that it is an active okay and we can have a publisher so i am designing a document so that we have a document like this publisher and here name will be the web dev and the address will be something like or not something like that. just i am trying to be. so this is our sample document for a book thing so if you want to insert a book you need to have the all details so these are the mandatory required fields other than those if any items are, if any uh, fields you are having means those are not mandatory you can have it but these are the fields you should have a mandatory in this one and also the validation so the title should be always a string the price should be a float by double value the description should be a string and the author should be a array and inside that one this each item should be a string and the status should be active and that means that also it should take active or inactive other than those two it should not take anything so that means enums like that so either it should take active or inactive and a publisher should be an object and inside this one you should have only the name and address so these are the keys you should have must and should and in this one you can have a string and like this you can have you can write the validations for this one all so in the version 3.2 onwards mongodb provides the validation to pro capability to provide the perform the schema validation <clears throat> so validations rules is written for a on collection basis that means per collection so you will be writing the validation for a collection not for each document so now to specify validation rules for, for when creating a new collection when you are trying to create a new collection then you can use db.create collection with a validator option i will try to show you so we need to use db.create collection instead of using db.products. like that so we need to write the validation rules so we can we need to use this db.create collection for example if you have already added have a collection and you want to add the document validation for this one means we need to use the call mod like this i will try to show you this one first we will try to see that new collection how we can add a validation so mongodb has the two related options one is the validation level so whether it should be a moderate or strict like this and an action so whether it should error or reject documents or warning warning means so whether it should it should show the warnings and uh, okay fine uh, it can allow the insertion and updation so like that we depending on the level we can use this validation level and action we'll try to see these things out so here the creation of this validation document will be in such a way like so json schema is the recommended means of performing so previously there are so many uh, keys are there for creating this uh, schema validation but um, uh, starting from the 3.6 so mongodb supports the json schema validation to specify we need to use the json schema operator in your validator experience and here you will be able to see that it is trying to create a collection so students and here you will be having an object validator inside this validator you will be having a schema and for each type you will be writing the bson type object like this you will be writing i will try to show you one by one so now let's try to see the implementation of this one so i am writing this one in a visual studio code so that so that validation will be very big object right because of that reason so let's assume that for this document we need to write a schema validation let's try to write it so here i will be using db.create collection okay db.create collection 
collection of so now what is the collection name so we need to write the collection name here and we need to open here object and first one should be a validator okay inside this validator we need to use the dollar json schema so this is the latest one so now here we need to mention the schema structure so how this schema is so whether it is an object or an array so it is an object you know that this entire schema is an object so now let's try to add json type okay the type of this one is an object okay so these are all the json types available so if you want to know more about these json types so you can click on this one json types here so you'll be able to fi find what are the different types of data types that are supported in the mongodb we have already seen the different type data types in the mongodb those all data types are supported in the bison type so double string object these are all the things i am using out of those i am using this object thing now we need to mention that out of in this document what are the required fields so these are all the required fields right so let's try to go here mention what are the required fields for an object so i can mention title is a required field and i can mention price is a required field and i can mention description is also a required field let's try to make it all the others is also a required field and i can make status is also a required field okay and i can use publisher also as a required field so let's try to make it like this that's it so this is our required field and next come the properties so now for each property you can mention the schema validation so now up to here we have written for the total object what are the required fields now for each field we need to write the validations thing first one is the title so let's try to write the title for this one so the title for this one the type of this one bison type so that means the data type of this one is accepted is string i can write the string here and if anything uh, error comes so if somebody submits uh, uh, submits the title uh, without a string value if they submit a integer value or boolean value so we need to show the error description something like title should be string so whatever the thing we want you can mention it so first property is completed and the second property we are having is the price okay so let's go to the price and in this price the bison type is uh let's make it as double okay and the description so we can have a description here so description is price should be okay should be floating or something like this floating value I can mention it. and the description so we can have a description okay so description is a string again it is a string okay so if you want oh sorry then we need to go inside this description and we need to mention bison type is of type string okay and i can write a description again so the error so if somebody submits doesn't submit a string means you need to show it description be string okay so we have these all the things title price so here up to here you are able to understand now this is the authors author is an array so let's go here and let's have it authors is an array i'll mention this it's an object recent type is an array okay so we can mention it like this recent type as an array and in this one you will be having an item so now you'll be having a property that items and in this items so each item how it should be so it should be something like bison type string right so this is of type string so if it is an object means you can write bison type so out of this one area of objects if you are taking you can mention it as an object and again you can mention what are the required fields and again you can go like a properties thing so here i can write description again author should be string okay like this so next comes the status so here let's go finish this one so next comes the other is comes status so status i can take and here you will be having bison type so now you don't have a bison type so now we know that status should take only two values either active or inactive so now you can have an enum and in this enum so i will mention the list of values which are accepted active and inactive that's it so here if you if any error comes you can mention description status should be either active or inactive so like this or inactive 
So these two values only is hello. So status is completed. Next comes the publisher. So here this is a publisher, right? So next comes the publisher. So let's have a publisher. This one also. Let's have this publisher also. So publisher bison type is object. Okay. So we know that for this one bison type is object. Here we are able to see it, right? Bison type is object. The same thing repeats again here. So if the bison type is an object, then you need to mention what are the required fields in this one. Okay. So I can mention required fields is name and address. I can write it like this name and address here if you try to see yeah name and address are there again you need to write a properties here so like this it will go on nested loops so again you need to write a properties here inside this one and you need to mention the name so what is the name you should have so here i can have bison type okay it should be a string value and again you need to mention description publisher name should be string publisher should be string anything okay and the last one is name and you are having an address okay let's mention this address also so here you'll be having a bison type this one is also of type string okay and here i will try to do description so here address should be string i am writing here so that's it so this is all the validations so schema validations that we are going to write for this one so this is a big huge schema validation so entire thing is an object thing so this is how we will be writing so here you will be having a json schema inside this one bison type object and the required wherever object you are getting you need to tell the required fields and in this required field each field you need to write what are the types of validations you want to apply okay now i can take this complete validation okay so i can come i can take this complete validation or otherwise from here to here i can take this complete validation let's go to this mongodb terminal so here we are having a shop let's select the shop okay so i have switched to the shop let's see the collections show collections whether we are having or not books so we are having a books right so db dot books dot remove i can remove sorry drop i can drop this collection okay now before creating a books collection so what i will try to do is i will try to create this schema so here i have copied this schema right so the entire schema i have copied this one and i am pasting here okay when i paste here so you got a message that okay one so now this is all schema validation is stored for the books now let's try to add here so what i will try to add here we are having that sample books details right so let's say that instead of having active i will write some gibberish here some something i am writing here other than active or inactive and let's try to submit this one here i am taking this entire thing and let's try to go into this one and here i will try to do db dot books dot set one okay insert one and i will try to paste this schema okay and let's try to insert it now here the schema validation should work and it should tell that the status should be either active or inactive other than those it should not it should not allow any other string data now if i try to press here so now we are able to see a right error here and if you come down here it is telling that uh, enum active and inactive these are the values allowed operator name enum value was not found in the enum and it is saying that considered value is uh, so this is the considered value and value was not found in the enum it is saying okay fine let's go here and let's remove these all the things and let's try to what i can say here instead of having this name as a string i will try to write integer okay 12 let's try to see whether it will submit it or not okay now if i try to go here db dot books dot insert one okay and if i try to open this one okay? and if i try to paste it here i am trying to press enter and again i am getting an error that uh, if you try to go here so here if you try to see type does not match 12 considered value is 12 consider type is double but here you have mentioned it as a string it is saying property name so here it is telling that in the publisher in the property name is not matching it is saying so like this you can write the validations for this one so now before inserting before inserting this document it will check all the schema either the scheme uh, validations is the matching or not if it is matching only then only it will insert or otherwise it will simply reject it back 
now let's try to insert it correctly so here i will try to add Tila web dev okay now let's try to save this one exactly whatever we want so now let's see that whether it will submit it or not so now db db dot products dot insert one and here i will paste this one and i will do it see now it has got inserted so here if i try to check db dot books dot find dot pretty if i try to check it oh i have inserted in the product sorry so this is the problem so we are getting sometimes we are using let's try to do insert one and let's try to insert it here this one will write why because we are having validation for this. fine right so let's try to check the same thing here now if you try to see here so everything has been inserted perfectly okay so with the schema validations now the we can assume that when we are getting data so we can assume that title price description author status publisher with name and address everything will be there with the with its data type so this is how we can do the schema validation in the mongodb so mongodb is very flexible so you can write whatever the document whatever the properties you want you can write it or otherwise if you want to have a validations you can also implement it like this so this is how we will be writing the schema validation in the mongodb hope you understood about the schema validation if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you